Frankie Dettori has won the Kazoo Oaks on board Snowfall, a sixth success in the race, a 21st British Classic, and the e Phillies... Equaled uh, the great Fred Archer. The great Fred Archer, there the great go. Frankie Dettori, the double for the Phillies Classics as well, yeah. following Mother Earth's win in the 1000 Guinness. But what a dominant performance that was. It was. Um, I wanted to have a better position, but they were going way too fast. So I was able to stay on the fresh ground and let him get on with it. And uh, I knew I'd pick up the pieces and uh, came around Tottenham was swinging off it. Had everything beat. I thought I'd wait until the two had a glance. I thought the, I, every, everything beat in front. The other one I'm not sure is Santa Barbara. So I had a glance and it was daylight and uh, got the fence and she took off. She really does seem to have come at age as a three-year-old, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah. I mean, the ground is soft. It felt like good to firm on her, you know, and I don't think I ride a, a more um, impressive classic winner. And you say that, having ridden a neighbour. Yeah, course, ridden a neighbour by five. What did she win by ten lengths? Sixteen. Yeah, exactly. Sixteen. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and was it easy, easy passage through because she I was going it, so yes. well? It's like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Incredible. It was like cowboys and Indians. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the cowboy. <laughs> so is there anything that you can compare to that feeling that it, it, when, you, when you look back on... Look, your... uh, in Abel probably, she was a superstar. Uh, I you know, suspect that she might do the, perhaps what well, Enable did, perhaps go for King George or something like that. Um, you know, what can you say when you win a classic by 16, 16 lengths? Okay, the ground might exaggerate it, but was ever only one winner from the start. She was still completely dominant. Do you think the ground is important to her or do you think she's more versatile than that? It, today is soft, but the water's still on the top. They're going through it. I don't know, They're on fast ground, but uh, I'm not fast at the moment. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> she looks so straightforward as well, which is going to be a massive asset for her as she faces older, more hardened horses. Yeah, I mean, um, Aiden said to me, she used to be a little bit gassy in the early days, but she was good today and look, I was, she was like an Arazi moment, basically. It was her and the rest. Absolutely. You mentioned Fred Archer. You're not usually one to, to, to note these miles. I know, yeah, because I was watching his uh, documentary of uh, David Yates yesterday on the treadmill, and he mentioned it. He said, uh, the great Fred Archer, you know, how many thousand winners in a row, then 21 classic. I know, I'm, I'm on 20. Maybe if I do one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this guy got me thinking. <laughs> and how. So what does the success mean to you? Great. Look, I'm 50 years old. I get to ride these great races and good horses. What can I say? You know, I've had five winners this, this year, two classics, a Chester Cup and a group three at ADOC. So, so it's not been too bad. <laughs> it's, it's not bad at all, really, is it? And I can see why you're quite phlegmatic, because as you say, a, a knife through butter ride like that. You know, they, don't, they don't come very, very often. <laughs> Many congratulations, Frankie. Brilliant.